with the single most surprising result of the day, TCU 83 Kansas 60 in Fog Allen Fieldhouse. It is the second worst loss for self at home. Uh, the worst loss was a 25 point loss to Texas back in 2021. And it is the largest home loss ever by a top two team in the AP poll. And there have only been six times in 67 seasons, RC, that Allen Fieldhouse has been a thing where Kansas has lost in that building by more than 20. For the first time ever, TCU can call themselves victors in Allen Fieldhouse. What do you make of this result? Uh, that was an ass kicking. I mean, from the start. <laughs> I mean, let's just call it what it was. I mean, there's no way of sugarcoating that game. That was an ass kicking. Um, if you're Kansas, I mean, obviously at home, it, it was it was bound to happen. You don't want to see it happen like that. I, I think there are some things that they're going to have to adjust. I, I mean, you know, the biggest concern that I had about Kansas going forward is I'm a huge fan of, of, of Dewan Harris, but he's got to figure out a way to be more effective. Just a threat to score. Other than that, shots didn't fall tonight. TCU is good. I mean, we know they're good. They're, they're like I've said before, they're the fastest team probably in college basketball. They they play at a pace and lead the nation in fast break points. But the only thing I'm not worried about Kansas at all. But I am concerned that Dewan's got to look to score. Like he's not even looking, and and it's allowing teams to just say, "Hey, he's not going to shoot enough, so we ain't got to guard him." And, and that that kind of you get to help out on other guys. Grady Dick needs that space. Uh, Jalen Wilson, you know, Williams, he's he's playing. Wilson's playing out of his mind right now. I, I don't know what the hell. I mean, how do you stop him right now? He's looking like the next guy, but more happy for TCU than I'm worried about Kansas, if that's the question. I, I got no concerns about Kansas, but I do think the only concern I have with him is just Dewan Harris, point guard, looking to shoot more. Yeah, for me, uh, you know, when I watch Kansas, I think they'd be getting off to slow starts. Uh, lately, and they've been having these comeback wins. And, uh, you know, you can only do that for so long. And to me, uh, Allen Fieldhouse is the toughest place to play in college. And they've been getting away with that for a little bit. But TCU, just like uh, RC said, they came in there and kicked their ass and uh, kind of woke them up. Am I worried about Kansas? No, I don't think they had a good shooting night. I think Grady yeah. Dick really struggled. And I don't think that's going to be uh, – you know, an issue going forward. He is a freshman and uh, he was, you know, they're going to have those lapses at times, but uh, yeah, they got off to a bad start like they've been doing and they just couldn't come back. Um, and uh, combined with the bad shooting night, they got, got themselves in too big of a hole. I still think they're the best team in the big 12 uh, when they're clicking. So uh, I, I don't think this is going to last long at all. I, I'm, I am a little bit worried about Kansas. I want to throw this back to you guys. You mentioned RC. Dewan Harris, last three games, one for 13 from the floor, one for five from three. He scored a total of three points. Jalen Wilson, last two games, he has 68 points. The rest of the team has 75. If he has anything close to an off night, then they get blown out in this to those two games. Oklahoma State, they came from behind at home to win. Texas Tech, they came from behind on the road to win. Oklahoma, they came behind from home at home to win. Iowa State, they came from behind at home to win. That's four of their five wins in the Big 12. And I would say a lot of that has to do with Bill Self scheming some stuff up. So, team with no depth, Team with no size inside, Tyler, and a team with a, a guy where you rely so much on uh, one player to kind of go for 35 to be able to play at this level. Like, to me, that's a little bit unsustainable. It, well, I've I've seen other players have big days. Uh, the K.J. Adam kid uh, a few weeks ago had mm -hmm. 22 points. I think Grady Dick is one of the best freshmen in the country, uh, top three in my opinion. Uh, I don't think he's going to sustain – uh, playing at this level. And I think Wilson's having an unbelievable year. Uh, first team all American, uh, maybe, you know, candidate for player of the year. Uh, but I, I think that when they're clicking, I saw them go into Mizzou and just smash Mizzou. Mizzou's a quality team this year. Uh, when they're clicking and they're playing well, I think self's done a great job uh, adjusting and changing his kind of style with the bigs kind of moving around, kind of spreading it out and going uh, four out one in. But uh I disagree. I think they're the best team in the big uh, 12. And I, I don't think this is uh, sustainable. This, um, you know, playing like this bad against TCU. TCU is a good team too. I am concerned about their shooting consistently. 
Uh, but again, I'm 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 more on the side with Tyler. I'm not I I don't see I'm not concerned like they're gonna fall off, like they're gonna they're in danger of falling off the map or anything like that. That they're, they're 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 fine. You know, Bill Self's the best coach in the country. I mean, I don't think you're gonna get much of an argument for that. He'll figure out a way. Uh, they they played against a difficult team. They wasn't making shots. And like I said, the only concern that I really have is I'm not worried about Grady Dig. He'll figure it out. I, I think he, if I was a nitpick, I'd say maybe he settles for threes a little too much. I like for him to play off his J a little bit, maybe put it on the floor a little bit more. But they, Harris got to look to score. He's got to make he got because now teams to me it looks like teams are just scouting him and just saying, look, just he ain't looking to shoot. Just back off of him, help out on other guys. If he starts looking to score at least eight to ten, eight points or so, just just be a threat. Then I think that opens and, and make up those a open guy. shots, right? Like yeah, you gotta yeah. you gotta force defenses to guard you. All right, let's 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 talk about the other side of this. TCU, how how good are they? Because they're one of those teams where I can see them making a run to the Final Four. I can also see them losing in the first round of the NCAA tournament for the reasons that we've seen in the last four days, right? They go into West Virginia and they lose a game they trailed by 18 in the first half. Then they go into Fog Allen Fieldhouse and they beat Kansas by 23 points. So are they are they for real? Are they a team that is going to kind of fade away towards the end of the season? Or is this just, you know, RC, the nature of the Big 12 this season? I think it is, but I think part of it is this team because they're dramatically flawed and that's their three-point shooting. Now, they compensate that body, the fastest team in the country, from one end of the floor to the other. They got guys coming at you. They're going to rebound it. They lead the country in tra- transition offense. So that's the way they're going to attack you. If Are you going to commit to going to the glass? Because if you go to the glass and don't get it, you're giving up buckets. They're attacking you. You know, we're going to talk about that later. I mean, you know, you got guys. <laughs> Miles sees it one-on-one. He's going. So you mm-hmm. got to get multiple guys back, keeping them, making them play. If you make, If you can make them play in a half court, then you can you can get them, and and some teams if that's their philosophy, not going to the glass, coming back, you got a shot. But today they shot it well. They were eight of fifteen from behind the line. If they shoot at that clip, I don't know who's beating them. If anybody's beating them, but if you no, ever watch them play, no play against, they're going to make eight threes. No, oh one's my god, if they hit a, it hit eight threes, forget about it because they're so fast. They got so many guys attacking you off the dribble. It's an issue. They're a serious problem. But if you can get back, make them play five on five. I I think that's the kryptonite. 